They say birds of a feather flock together. Here and now, it's just a common expression. But in an alternate universe, it might be a strange reality. Have you ever wanted to fly? Do you sometimes feel guilty about eating eggs? Did you ever wish you were a better singer? Today might be your lucky day. This is what if, and here's what would happen if humans evolved as birds. You've probably heard that crows are smart, but can you believe just how much they have in common with humans? While crows don't have hands, their unusually straight bills enable them to grip objects with precision, while their forward-facing eyes give them improved depth perception. These two traits, along with opposable talons, make crows skilled at rudimentary toolmaking and construction. They're also capable of social reasoning and abstract thinking. In fact, they're about as intelligent as humans were two million years ago. So is it possible that, had things gone a little differently, we might have become bird people? Being half bird and half human requires a few hard-to-make trade-offs. First of all, would you rather be smart or be able to fly? Your brain requires a lot of energy to function reliably throughout the day. The average human requires at least 1,300 calories per day to survive. And your brain burns about 20% of these calories just from thinking. While some birds are smarter than others, most of their energy goes into flying. The common chickadee eats about 35% of its body weight every day. For a 150-pound human, that's the equivalent of 600 granola bars. So our bird-human population would require a lot more food. Meat, nut, and dairy consumption would increase since those foods are rich in calories. This would put so much strain on our food resources that we might eventually have to give up flying altogether. Suppose, like crows and earlier species of birds and dinosaurs, we evolved with opposable talons. We'd probably start making tools to improve our quality of life. But if we came to rely on our tool-making nature, there'd be a lot less need to fly, since our infrastructure would be land-based. Our talons would evolve and increase in functionality. And while we wouldn't lose our wings, we wouldn't really use them either. Human birds would probably become short-distance gliders, which isn't as fun as flying, but at least it eases our food requirements. Now to the question you've been waiting for. Laying eggs. Would we do it? Yeah, we would. And it would drastically change the structure of our society. When a bird egg hatches, the chick tends to bond with the first moving thing it sees. It could be its mother, or it might just be any other bird passing by. In our birdman society, group parenting would likely be the norm, and the division of labor would be split between child rearing and food gathering roles. Laying eggs limits mobility, and as bird people, we probably wouldn't be as inclined to venture too far from the nest. After all, our flying abilities would be capped, and being smaller in size than today's average human, we'd have a larger list of predators to contend with. For example, as bird people, having a pet cat probably wouldn't be the best idea. Also, as bird people, we'd probably build our homes in the trees as a means of protection. That would force us to be a lot more environmentally conscious, since a sustainable habitat would depend on maintaining healthy forests. Again, because of a greater threat of predators, it would be safer to stick close to home instead of going out to hunt. So our communities would have to rely heavily on agriculture, especially on protein-rich nuts. This would increase the need for environmental protection, but at the same time, it would also increase our daily food requirements to meet our high-calorie diet. After all, it's not like we'd be eating chicken anymore. So aside from having a closer relationship with nature and the potential for more integrated and egalitarian communities, it seems like this kind of lifestyle truly is for the birds. <sighs>